Hello Nuggets. Oh, I got a good one for you. Okay, so um, today <laughs> I got a robocall, another robocall from Joe Collins. Now, if you're in California, he is the Republican um, representative trying to defeat our incumbent, Maxine Waters, right? So now I've been getting a lot of robocalls, a lot of robotechs, and I get them from both sides because I don't have a party affiliation. And they're both really, really, really annoying. Um, uh, the ones from Maxine Waters are equally frustrating, uh, but I get less of them. I think I've had two, right? And on the second one, I texted back, stop, and I haven't had one since. Um, Joe Collins, I texted back, stop, and I still get them. I Here's the thing. I text stop, and I get a reply that I've been taken off the list, and then I still get them. But now he's robocalling as well. So I got one today at 7 o'clock this morning. Um, it said political call, but I took it because I just, I don't know, I felt like having an argument. Actually, no, I took it because I was hoping it was a person and I would be able to say, you've got to take me off the list. This is getting ridiculous. But it wasn't. It was a recorded uh, robocall. And th this call was a couple of actors having a conversation like I was listening in. It was... Basically, it was two black women talking to each other. And the first one says, girl, did you hear about Maxine Waters? And the other one says, no, honey, tell me. And then they go into this long conversation about how terrible Maxine Waters is. I didn't hear all of it because I kind of was just like, whatever. But then near the end, I'm pressing buttons. That's why I didn't hear it because I'm pressing buttons thinking maybe if I press zero, I'll get to an operator or whatever. But it wasn't. There was, there was no one there. It was literally just the message to say, you got to hate Maxine Waters, okay? At the end of the conversation between these two women, one says to the other one, oh, wait, hang on, that's my other phone, i got to go. And that's the end of the call. Anyway, this drove me nuts. It was such a racist call, but it was also just the fact that I can't seem to stop this Joe Collins asshole from calling me. There's just nothing I can do stops him. He just keeps calling me. And so I sent him this really rude email <laughs> where I'm like, please, please stop fucking calling me. Firstly, I will never vote for you. But even if I was going to vote for you, I will now never vote for you because you just keep harassing me just endlessly. And I haven't received a reply, reply from that. It's only 9.30 in the morning, so maybe he hasn't got it yet. Um, but I thought I'd do some research on this guy. Right. Because, again, keeping in spirit with that thing I did about the Proud Boys, I'm like, you know what? OK, this guy's obviously a douchebag, but I don't know what he's about. So let's do some research and find out. Um, so I looked into it. This guy's a work, a piece of work. Oh, my God. OK, so this is all going to go out of order, but I'm going to give you some info. You're going to love this. OK, so he ran for president in 2016 as an anti-Trump Republican. Right now, I know you've heard this story before because this is what's happened to the Republican company uh, campaign. But here's a quote from him in 2016 I don't like Donald Trump, and I felt everybody was centered around Donald Trump in the Republican Party. Collins said of his mindset entering the presidential politics during another interview in March. This is back then, March. Uh, they don't have no leadership, and I felt like they a bunch of cowards. Right? So that's a quote from him. So he got beaten, obviously, um, and uh, his political career began to stagnate. So he switched parties. So then he became a Democrat, which is someone who's anti-Trump. I'm like, oh, well, OK, all right. You know, I mean, aren't you still a Republican? Are you just leaving your party? Like maybe Trump is really important to you. Then he left the Democrats and he joined the Millennial Political Party, which I've never even heard of. But he joined them. Then he left them and he joined the Green Party. Then he left the Green Party and he rejoined the Republicans. And there's a quote from him because he's, he's, he's going downhill now. His career, he's got no money, he's disappearing. He says, if you want to knock out the biggest dog, then you step out on his turf. The biggest dog is not in the Green Party. Well, no shit. Collins said in an interview, I'm stepping on the turf and I'm going to get my name out there with Donald Trump and everybody. And I'm going to fight him on his own stance because I can beat him. So he's still anti-Trump this guy seems a little erratic but you know he's, he's got an agenda and he wants to go for right so then he starts publicizing showing all these pictures of him meeting with all of these big republicans like uh dan crenshaw 
um, from Texas. I think he's from Texas. It's the guy with the eye patch, right? I've got another website. I'm looking up for it here. Um, Dan, yeah, Dan Crenshaw from Texas, and then Tim Scott, right? And he's got all these pictures saying like, "I'm supported by all of these things. They're endorsing me. Look, we're going to beat it. We're going to beat. We're going. We're going to defeat Trump." And then he said, Tim Scott, the uh, senator from South Carolina, released a statement that said, spokesman Sean Spooner, that the senator did not and does not support this candidate and did not have a meeting with him. He takes pictures with a lot of folks at events, and it appears this gentleman took that picture and ran with it. That's what this guy does. He's so desperate to get ahead, this <laughs> Joe Collins. Like, in some form, he's like, fucking whatever. This guy's definitely a huckster, man. So... He then stepped back into the ring as a Republican, but he's changed his tune now. Now it's all about defeating Maxine Waters, and he's a huge Trump supporter. When did that happen? His entire process was to defeat Trump, bring him down from the inside. Not anymore. Now it's defeat Maxine Waters because she's corrupt and whatever else he says. But he's in love <laughs> with Donald Trump suddenly. He's like, this guy's amazing. He's, he's crazy about him. What's interesting is at the same time that he decided to start supporting Donald Trump, he went from having $20 in his bank account to $750,000 in his bank account. And now he doesn't say anything bad about Donald Trump. So he has a marketing company that runs his campaign that has the $750,000 that they've raised um, called Pure Strategy Solutions. This company doesn't exist, and it has the same address as his campaign, as his home, actually. I think, did it say his home? i got to look. I can't remember. But the point is, it's him. It's obviously him, right? Now, there's no official showing that he's corrupt in any way, right? The, he, there's no, uh, what do they call it? There's nothing against campaign finance reform. But... Um, he has $750,000 going to this strategy company that is at the same address as his home and that uh, doesn't actually exist. Like, he's got a website that just says coming soon on it. Um, and all he's about is Maxine Waters. Here's a quote from him. We're going to unseat Maxine Waters. We're going to help Mr. Trump keep America great, and we're going to make California great again. So now he's fully into Trump. I don't get it. Like, there's so many dark things about this guy. Like, back in 20, I think it was 2018, he was up uh, for child support. He went to court for child support. And in 2018, he declared himself a sovereign citizen who doesn't have to pay child support because, you know, he doesn't uphold, he doesn't listen to the court, the court, that whole sovereign citizen nonsense. This guy is such a fucking con artist and such a huckster. So just do a little bit of research on him, man. And this guy who's been bugging you and maybe bugging me, maybe bugging you with his phone calls, um, he is doing anything he can to just get money. He's just get money, get paid. That's all he wants, man. Just it doesn't give a shit. I will side with whoever is making money right now. Donald Trump. I'm behind Donald Trump. We'll see what happens if Trump does lose the election. I'm going to follow up with Joe Collins. I want to see whether he becomes a Democrat all of a sudden. Because you know what? I always love Joe Biden, and actually. Maxine Waters is great. I'm going to run in um, in Oregon. <laughs> I'm going to run in Arizona. If Trump wins Arizona, I'm going to run in Arizona. Uh, we've got to get him out. Oh, my God. This is so indicative of the problem with the Republican Party. And I don't like the Democrats. I've mentioned that a few times. I think they're corrupt, too. But this is so indicative of the Republican Party to me. This is like, this is this is their boy. This is one of their men right here. This is exactly what they do. They are anti-Trump, anti-Trump, you know, because the look at this guy. He's disgusting. Well, how are the polls? He's terrible. How are the polls? He's going up, yeah. Oh. Trump, 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 Trump. I mean, everyone's Ted Cruz, man. Everyone's fucking Ted Cruz in the Republican Party. All right, you little fucking nuggets. Don't vote Joe Collins. Or if you do, just, oh, I don't know. No, just don't. Bye.